In this video, I'm going to go over my first experience with the Marula cup and to give you some tips if you're having problems getting this cup to open or situated correctly. If you're interested to hear how my first experience went, stay tuned. Hello everyone, it's Red Herring. I hope you're having a great week. Uh, so I've been getting a lot of questions lately about the Marula cup, if I used it, if I had problems getting it to open, uh, if it rode up on me and all that good stuff. So um, I really didn't have anything planned for today and uh, so I just figured that I'd kind of go over that. I also wanted to go over some tips because I have read a lot of people and got uh, PMs about people not being able to get it opened and also uh, removing it. So I did have some problems and I'll share that with you. Any websites, links, or discount codes that I might have at this time will be in the description below. And if you find anything helpful or interesting in this video, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. I did receive my Marula cup the week prior to starting my period, so I did get to try it pretty quickly. Uh, I started spotting and I grabbed my Marula cup and went into the shower that night. And um, I did just use the C-fold because it's an easy fold for me. It's a no-brainer. I just, you know, I don't even think about it anymore. Sometimes I switch over to the punch-down fold, but normally I don't anymore. Uh, so I used the C-fold. I inserted this cup all the way up and I released it and nothing happened. Um, this cup does feel more on the firm side and I think that has to do with the way that it's shaped uh, just because it's so bulbous it just kind of wants to spring open in my hand so um, I was kind of worried that it didn't just pop open um, and I tried a few times that night and I started to get really dry and started to get sore and a little bit swollen um, and so I s just kind of gave up that night I couldn't get any other cup to insert correctly. Uh, I did try to put in a couple of um, very firm cups and I grabbed for the Lena small and I uh, kind of forced it in and it was really uncomfortable so I ended up using my Amelo pads to go to bed that night. The next morning on the way to the bathroom I grabbed my Marula cup and I tried it again, but this time I used the punch down fold, which is the fold that they suggest inside of their pamphlet. And I inserted this cup, but uh, I let it open while it was still really low. So I only inserted the cup um, until the cup was in, but this, the the uh, stems were still outside of me. And then I released the cup and it popped open uh, without any coaxing. Once the cup was open, I was able to push it up and maneuver it around my cervix how I wanted it to be situated. Um, I could feel the stem on this at the opening of my vagina and it was just really irritating to me. Uh, I don't like that feeling so I just went ahead and tucked it up and under my um, pubic bone and it stayed there. Uh, it only came out or unfolded once during that day, um, actually during the rest of my period uh, that I was using this cup and I, I didn't have any problems with that. Later that evening I went to go empty my cup. I knew I didn't really need to because my uh, flow was light on that first day, uh, but I wanted to know how it was going to work out with me removing my cup. So I sat on the toilet and uh, I bared down like I normally would and I tried to reach the base of this cup and that's how I would normally do a menstrual cup like the others here um, and that wasn't working I couldn't reach the cup very well and every time I did reach the cup my nails would just slide over the base of this cup there's no grip rings on it um, this cup did create a pretty strong seal there's also no air holes on this cup and I knew that going in so I knew that I might have to alter the way that I remove this cup um, so I just kept trying to reach the base and uh, I actually ended up lifting my foot onto the toilet seat while I was still sitting on the toilet and that uh, brought my cervix down enough for me to be able to grab onto the base of this cup, pinch it, break the seal and remove this. Um, so 
the next day I wanted to figure out uh, an easier way for myself to remove this cup um, and first of all I found it a lot easier to remove in the shower because I was squatting down on the ground but if you are out of your house you're most likely not going to be squatting in a public bathroom uh, so I had to figure out how to remove this cup without doing any uh, of like lifting my foot up on the toilet or squatting down. After I figured out how to insert this cup, how to get it open, and how to remove it without any fuss, I totally loved this cup. Um, it sat really high. I didn't insert it and see if it rode up, but in the German group, um, the people there did say that it rides up. Um, so if you are a brand new user to menstrual cups and the marula cup is your first cup You won't have the habits that others might have about using menstrual cups So uh, it's kind of a good thing at that point point. Um, and if you're using the marula cup as you know a second third or whatever number menstrual cup you're on you might have to reprogram how you um, use this cup it's gonna kind of be like your very first cup where it's a trial and error thing but once you get it it'll be like second nature and you won't have to think about how to do what overall i found it really comfortable i didn't leak um, but i was on a light period this month uh, thankfully um, and the only time that i did sense this cup was when the stem popped out that one time and never again so other than the stem, which I could fix by cutting if I really wanted to, um, it, this cup was fine for me. The tips that I wanted to go over were to get this cup opened, to get this cup removed, and also some of you have been experiencing leaking and I wanted to go over what might be happening in that situation. In the pamphlet, they suggest using the punch down fold and to do that, you would place your finger on the rim and push that rim straight down to the center of the cup. Take your other hand and pinch the rim together and then remove your first hand. I'm right-handed, so I would transfer the cup into my right hand and this is the point that will be inserted. Once you have your cup in the punch down fold, you'll want to make sure that when you insert your menstrual cup, this rounded area is toward your bladder or your pubic bone. The flat side of this cup will be facing the floor. And then you'll want to insert your menstrual cup until your hand rests on your pubic bone and then release the cup. I found it much easier to allow the cup to open while it was low and then use my finger to gently nudge and maneuver it into place. When you're ready to remove your cup, insert a finger and place it on the base of the cup. And then just like when you're nudging it into place, you'll want to nudge the side of the cup down. This will help break the seal and also move your cup down so that you can reach the base better and then wiggle the cup the rest of the way out. Here's another view of nudging the cup to remove it. You might hear um, some of the air being squeezed out of the cup when I do pinch it. So here I'm going to nudge the side of the cup down until I can actually reach it and get a good grasp on the base of the cup then wiggle it the rest of the way down and remove the cup. If you're experiencing leaking with the marula cup, you'll want to check the position of your cervix. The rim diameter of the marula cup is a lot more narrow than several of the other menstrual cups that are on the market. So if you're used to using those other menstrual cups, you might be missing your cervix or pushing it off to the side. Because of the bulbous shape of the marula cup, it might feel like the cup is completely open all the way around. But you can see here on this model that the cervix is still on the outside of the cup. To correct this, you'll want to wiggle your cup side to side 
or nudge the side of the cup so that your cervix can drop into the cup or be right above your cup. And then you can maneuver it back into place. Well, that's all I have about the Marula cup for now. If I missed anything or if you had additional questions, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. And also let me know down below if you have any other issues with using the Marula cup than the ones that I talked about in this video. I might not have the answers, but maybe one of my viewers might be able to help you out. Until I see you next time, take care.